So, uh, good evening, uh, YouTube friends. So, I'm getting ready to go live tonight. So, I just have wanted to come out today and say hi to you all. And, um, you know, just say hi to everybody. Uh, tonight, what I've been doing is I've been just working on, um, I had a lot of foam that I had. So, what I've been doing is just uh, working on basic things like uh, getting these ready for my baskets and also for um, centerpieces that I do. You can cut them in half, too and use them. I'm just going to come out tonight and just show you some ideas that you can do with foam if you have or if you have some type of blocks. What I did is I just took um, the gift tissue that I have and I just placed and taped it around it so I have different sizes here. So uh, for instance, if I want to do like a cup mug, I just will take a piece of that foam and put it right inside of there and do it like that. So tonight I'm just going to show you just basic ways that you can do um, some nice things. Like I said, tonight I just wanted to come out and show you all some ideas that if you have um, foam or if you have um, any type of, um, like I said, any type of cardboard or anything, you can just take some gift wrap paper, really nice one, and tape it around there. Also, another thing, because I do a lot of diaper cakes, too, um, where you have, like, your gift wrap rolls or even your tissue rolls. Normally, I use these, too. This is another idea that you can do uh, with your business that it can grow. Uh, here, I just take um, the scissors, and I just cut it, and I just have these. I use uh, these, too, for uh, my diaper cakes when I'm doing them. So, these are very good to do. Um, also, I had a lot of, um, like I was saying, I had a lot of foam left over. And what I did, too, with some of the foam, is I went and um, I cut a lot of it. So what I'm going to do is just take um, a piece of um, gift tissue that I have here. So I have different colors here. And I'm just showing you some ways, and I have found a lot of this in uh, some boxes that I had picked up a while back um, that I had foam inside of there. Love you too. So, normally, what I do is I just take a piece of uh, gift tissue. Okay. And this is what I'm doing tonight. I'm just um, building tonight different things and just take a piece of gift tissue. They don't even know it's a piece of foam. That's when they open it up, they can see it. And all I do is just um, take some tape and um, I tape it down and then I fold the sides down. So um, that's what I'm doing up tonight is uh, just uh, building um, my gift tissues and stuff like that. We're building my gift. Um, my phone, I'm building it tonight. Yeah, this is just a simple way that you can do it. And all I do is just take the side like that. Okay. And yeah, I'm just showing you simple ways that you can um, enhance your business. These are ways that I do. Instead of throwing cardboard out and, and um, throwing the foam and all that out, I just take it and wrap it. That is very nice. You just take it like that and fold it. And you just sit these right into your basket. So these are very nice to use. I got different colors up here. But um, I had a whole bunch of foam. And I'm like, I'm not going to throw that out. I'm going to just keep it for when I do my baskets or when I do centerpieces or do arrangements. You'll have something nice. And what you can do is just take, like I said, a piece of gift tissue and it's going to look plain like this, and you just take a piece of gift tissue, wrap it very nice and neat, and you can place them right into your baskets. Um, if you're doing gift boxes, they're very good, too, to set at the bottom of them. So if I have a gift box or something like that, okay, what I'll do is I'll take a gift box like this, for instance, one, okay? And um, you can just measure it out. So this one is kind of a, um, a medium size. So I'll just take it and cut it. And they're very good 
very easy to cut. Okay, if you want to use two pieces, you can. Or you can use one, it don't matter. So, I'll just use one in there. You can just take one piece, place it in there. And what I normally do, like I said, I just take the piece of um, gift tissue, any color, and um, you can just place them right in there. So I'll just take a piece right here. Cut that essence part off. Okay. And then I just take it like that. Take it and roll it and roll it. So I'm just showing you ways that you can, and that's what I'm I'm working on tonight. So these are just um, things that I'm working on so that um, I have more things to put down in the bottom of my baskets, or if I'm doing a gift uh, set, I'll have something that I can use to hold the baskets and stuff down. A piece of tape. And we're going to roll it to the other side. Okay. And I'll cut some of this down. Just a little bit. Just take it and fold it your hand. Fold that there. Yep. And so these are just basic ones. Like I said, instead of throwing your foam out, keep it. That's what I've been doing. And all you do is just take it and place it right inside of the basket and if you want to cut another piece you just add another piece there and then you just build from there what you need so yes yeah, so I just had wanted to come out tonight and just show you some ideas that you can do um, like I said if you're a person that uh, do diaper cakes um, yeah I do diaper cakes and stuff like that that is something Molly hand mommy her diaper cake and the diaper cake over there. I want to show you the diaper cake that I did the other day. This one is for a baby girl. I'm working on those now, too. So, um, yeah, so the baby's bringing the diaper cake over to show it. So that's what I use my, um, that's what I use this for. And I just take a piece of gift tissue and put on there. But this is uh, the diaper cake that I made up the other day. I'm working on those now, too. So this is another idea, too. Um, I'll come back out and do a tutorial on this one, how to make a diaper cake. But this is going to be a nice, cute diaper cake. And I use these. You can leave them in there, or you could just use them for measurement. So this here is how that diaper cake came out once I got finished with it. Yeah, so, um, so all I'm doing tonight is just working on um, foam and just putting gift tissue over it. I'm just working on things so when I do my baskets or I do my cups you can place things inside of here like that these are very good so I'm just giving you some tips tonight on some things that you can use right from home if you got some old foam uh, use an old foam like I said I got a whole bunch of foam here and what I'm going to do is just take uh, my gift tissue papers that I had different colors and I'm just going to place them on there and I can use these to build my baskets or if I'm doing you're welcome. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. If I'm doing a centerpiece or anything like that, these would be very good. So I had a whole bunch of this. So what I'm doing now is just cutting it in half. It was a big, long piece. But I took a whole bunch of, took my scissors and just cut it straight in half. And you can use your phone. Like I said, if you're doing diaper cakes, these are very good to use um, as an example to put on the cake. And I'll come back out and show you all how to do um, baby diaper cakes. Um, but yeah, I use these too, so I have a lot of rolls. So what I've been doing is using those. You can take a piece of gift tissue and wrap around there, put it in the bottom for your, um, stick it in the middle for your diaper cakes when you're doing them. These are very good to use. So tonight I'm just coming out and showing you all um, tips that you can do right from home, things that you can use that you have. So if you have some of this type of foam, don't throw it out. Use it. It's kind of spongy-like, but you can still use it. Just take a piece of um, gift tissue, which I got um, from Christmas Tree Shop. I got different colors. I'm going to just take it tonight. That's what I'm doing tonight. I'm just working on 
um, wrapping these so that when I get ready to do my baskets or my centerpieces, I'll have uh, nice uh, ones that I can build from the bottom on up, okay? And like I said, when you do your diaper cakes, uh, they're very easy to do. And I'll come back out and do a tutorial on that one. These are the diaper cakes here. You just take this part here and you place it on there. And I'll come back out and show you. And then you just take all your diapers, wrap them up tight, and you just build all the way up. And that'll be a diaper cake. But I'll come back out and do that. These are regular uh, cake ones. That's glue on it. I got to get that off of there. But that's um the green one. These are the diaper, um, the cake rounds that I use. We use these to bake cakes, but I use these to do my diaper cakes. Um, I'm working on a girl one now. This one is the one girl one. I'll come back out. This is a one layer. I'll come back out and show you how to do a two layer one. So this is a cute diaper cake here. Um, I love to do those. Not only do I do baskets, but I do wreaths. Um, I also do um, gift baskets. I do the wreaths. What else I do? I do jewelry making. I do centerpieces. I do nice bouquets that you can do. Put them, place them right in the cup. Those there. Yeah, so there's just a lot that you can do. But I was just showing you some tips of some things. If you have this foam at home, don't throw it out. Use it. Um, if you have um, tissue rolls too, the roll part of those, you can take those and cut them and use them too for diaper cakes or just different ideas that you can do. Like I said, I've been wrapping them these how pretty they look and they're going to go in my baskets or if i do a centerpiece up they'll go inside of there because the block makes it higher it makes everything stand up straight so like i said if you have any old cardboard at home don't throw it out use it for decorations stuff like that yeah you use something like that and just take a piece of paper and place on there put in the back like backings for your um your baskets if they don't stand up straight but yeah, I just I wanted to come out today and just give you some tips, uh, some things that you can do. Um, this is what I'm working on tonight. I'm just doing up a whole bunch of them. And when I get ready to do my baskets or my centerpieces or even my bouquets here, I'll have these already be wrapped. All I got to do is just place them in there and build from there. And I'll come back out and show you all um, maybe tomorrow or sometime this week how to do a two um a two layer diaper cake this one is a one layer one i just did this one up for a baby shower here and yeah this is very cute here how to do yeah so my name is rochelle the name of my channel is decorating with rochelle thank you all for subscribing to my page and if you're liking this type of content don't hesitate to like comment share and subscribe we're getting ready to get off of this live now and go work on some more of these tonight all i'm doing is just uh building tonight i'm just working on um different foam that I have and then just taking just pieces of gift tissue and placing them on there make it really look nice and neat yeah so I just I wanted to come out and say hi to you all and like I said if you're liking this type of content don't hesitate to like comment share and subscribe um you can also use the round ones for these type of cups or you can just use one of these also and place in the back of them if you're doing up like a a nice set you can take this and place in the back of it too to hold it so there's ways that you can work around it okay so my name is Rochelle if you're liking this type of content don't hesitate to like comment share and subscribe um, I'll come back out and show you all how to do a nice uh, two layer diaper cake we'll do that together hopefully I can do it on uh, tomorrow if not tomorrow sometime next week I'll come out and do a tutorial where we go step by step on how to do a diaper cake and like I said, if you have extra foam at home, don't throw it out. Keep it, you know, if you want to just leave it plain. But I normally just take something to make it look a little bit more professional looking. You want to just take a little piece of gift tissue and take some tape, fold it neatly. And hey, you got you a nice building at the bottom. You can put them, like I said, in your baskets. You can put them in your cups that you do, whatever that you do. But it's very good. So that's, I just wanted to come out today. And give you some tips on some things that you can use right from home. Also, these two tissue rolls, don't throw them out because you can use these when you're building cakes or when you're doing different projects. You can These come in handy really good too, okay? So my name is Rochelle, and I just wanted to come out and say hi to you all tonight. And may you all have a nice and productive night. Till next time, I'll talk with you all soon. Bye.